Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having a really good day so far. I want to encourage you to stay focused on your goals. Do not put your hope in a product. Don't put it in a process. Don't even put it in Amazon. Focus on your goals and do whatever it takes to reach that goal. It is people who consistently work hard over a long period of time, making the right choices the best that they can. They will make mistakes along the way. Those people are much more successful than people who try to rush it and make f cash quickly and try to bend the rules and before you know it, they're out of capital, they're out of time, and their life is upside down. You can do this, you can make it happen, so I wanna encourage you to stay focused. I absolutely love Amazon's new shipping template. I don't know how many of you have used it so far. It is so powerful and so simple. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Now in the past, let's say you wanted just one of your items in your store to be free shipping, then you had to go and upload in what's called an override shipping template, an exclusive kind. And it took a while, and you had to work through a spreadsheet and it was sort of a pain. And I find that Amazon seems to be moving away from that. Now what you can do is create several templates. So let's say you're selling a padlock. When you have the padlock in Seller Central, you can click on the right side and select whatever template you want. So one template might be, you know, charge them a dollar per pound. Another template might be, this can ship international. Another one might be free shipping. And you can select whatever template you want. Now this is especially powerful. If you are shipping, if you're trying to promote an item and you're trying to get more reviews on it and you do what's called an introductory price drop for everyone, that way you're not breaking Amazon's terms of service, but you also want free shipping to make it easier for people to buy, you can do that if you're just promoting one or two items from your store instead of making everything free shipping when you really don't want to. Now keep in mind, this only applies to Fulfilled by Merchant. Fulfilled by Amazon, free shipping always. This is when you are shipping it out from your house or your garage or your warehouse or all the fulfillment centers you have in the world. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. First thing you do is you go to settings and you're just gonna click on the shipping settings. Now if this happened for you recently, you will notice that Amazon just migrated over their shipping template. And if you didn't do any manual changes, they automatically put in a migrated template to set up your shipping settings the way they think would work. Now you can change this as much as you like. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new template. Let's just say you want one of your products to be free shipping, the others you wanna stay the same. Go over here, copy to a new template. It'll co automatically copy all the current settings you have on this template to a new one. And we're gonna call this one, new shipping settings example. Now you can do price banded. If you do price banded, what that means, you can do price bands. So if your item is anywhere from 10 cents to $10, you're gonna charge $2 shipping. If it's $10 and one cent up to $20, you're gonna charge $20 for shipping and so forth. It's really helpful if you have a ton of inventory and you have multiple fulfillment centers where you are fulfilling them and you wanna do it based on price and location. However, if you're just trying to get free shipping of one or two items, then go with the uh, per item weight-based option. Free economy, you can do this if you just wanna automatically make everything free, I'll show you. You go here, you add new regions. You can go through and you can just click on, okay, if I'm in the US, I want the 48 states as well as Hawaii and Alaska. And let's just say I wanna do these, I hit okay and now, I have free shipping going anywhere to these 48 continental states as well as Hawaii and Alaska, the non-continental states. Very simple. Now, if you wanna get a little more specific with it, get a little more details, just turn this one off, which I'm going to do, and come down here to standard shipping. Now, standard shipping typically is first class shipping. It's the closest thing to it when you're sh shipping USPS or basic ground shipping with UPS or FedEx. What you can do is go through here and change this to zero, for example, and this one to zero, and this one to zero. And you can make all of these free if you like. Now, here's what's really powerful. Let's say you want to at least charge a dollar shipping per order. So that means it doesn't matter if they buy one item or 10, they're still going to pay at least one dollar. But in addition, for every extra pound of items, you want to charge another dollar. So right here, I'm going to put one dollar per pound. Now, what does that mean if you're shipping out one item and it's half a pound? That means you're gonna pay $1 for the order, but then because the item is half a pound, you're also gonna be charging 50 cents because you're doing a dollar per pound. So Amazon will automatically calculate it based on the weight that you put in your listing. They'll automatically calculate that. So now they're gonna charge a dollar for the order plus 50 cents for the half pound. Let's say it was three items. You're still, they're still gonna pay $1 put for the whole order, but now let's say the total combined poundage of those three items is a pound and a half then that means they're gonna pay $1.50 in addition to the dollar for the weight because you're charging a dollar per pound. There's another way you can do this. You can actually change this to 
per item. Well, let's change this just for fun. We'll change it to 50 cents. Let's say you're shipping out three items. You're gonna charge a dollar per, per order. So it doesn't matter if it's one or 10 items, you're still gonna charge a dollar for the entire order. So there's one dollar. But then you're also sending out three items, and because you have 50 cents per item, that's $1.50. So now the total is gonna to be $2.50. See, I love the power this gives you to completely tweak your shipping settings however you like. Now what's nice about this is you can change it to anything you want. And notice this plus right here, that plus thing, it is this per order price plus the per item or per pound price. But because we're doing free shipping, because we want to promote an item, we want more sales, I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to make all of these zero. Oh, and keep in mind, check this out. If I want to see more, you can see all the states here. I can also add on international shipping, which is incredible. In fact, I'll go there really quick. Let's say I want to add a new region. Come over here. Let's say I want to ship out to Canada. Bam, there's Canada. I hit OK, and now I have Canada added on to here. And now, let's say I want to charge $0 buying from Canada. Once this is done, I have now free shipping for anywhere in the US in US territories and military addresses, as well as Canada. I hit Save. Now, here's the coolest part. I'm going to go back over here to my inventory, and I click here on the right, and I hit Change Shipping Template. Up here on the upper left, you're going to have all the templates you created. And remember, we just created this new template, example shipping template. If I click on that and hit continue, it will automatically make that item free in all the territories that are of that template. This means you have 100% control over the shipping settings for every single item. You did have this in the past, but to do that, you had to re-upload files and fill out spreadsheets and change them as text files. It was not the most user-friendly. And the fact that FedEx is now gonna be fulfilling orders is proof is awesome. That's why I love about the free market. That means Amazon's gonna have to up their game because now these other massive companies are providing order fulfillment for online companies out there. I'm telling you, this is good news. It means Amazon's gonna have to get more competitive. For a long time, they've had all this, you know, great money coming in and you know all these people selling and you know they just kind of make the rules as they like. And I, I like Amazon, but so much power can lead to corruption. Now there's a competitor out there, and it's gonna cause Amazon to go. Wait a minute. I have to be on top of my game because people might move over to FedEx instead of us. We don't want that. All right, this is Seth Kniep, Keeping It Real. Hope you have a very awesome day. If I can help you in any way, if you're interested in coaching, I have a team of over 70 people now who are all combined helping each other build online stores. This is the most, I've worked with hundreds of teams in my life. Amazon, FedEx, Xerox, volunteer organizations, and I've never worked with a team as amazing as this. I mean, just reading the comments in the team, and this is a private group on Facebook, it's like reading a motivational book, or it's like getting your happy thoughts for that. You read it, and you feel like you can take on the world. All right, have an awesome day. See you.